The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi, folks. Welcome to the first day of August. Last trading day of well, last day of the month, but it's also the last trading day of August. So we're going to be looking at those candles at the end of the day. So far, this monthly candle has got an inverted Chapman Roman Chapman wave Roman candle. It needs to trade at least for. Um, two days it doesn't have to be a full week but i'd say two days about thirty two thousand four sixty any time in september to say aha now i can go back to the high that was made at thirty four thousand two hundred eighty one um but that's, uh, there are a lot of ifs there. So let's forget about the monthly chart at the moment. Let's look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart says at this particular point, down 32 points at 31,757, you are right on the Chapman Wave inside track. But the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to explain it if you're listening and you're not looking. Uh, it, there's a down channel. The down channel has a little inside track parallel mini channel and then the upper channel has like a mini channel this is if you're looking at a glass tube and the glass tube basically is uh, showing you the 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 width of the glass right what has gotten to the upper side and then it broke out to the uh, above and it's come back down and it's now testing key support this is the pink line of the Chapman wave inside track declining channel a little mini channel off the, of the big channel and that just says if it starts to trade into the 31,500 or under 31,500, that changes the weekly chart because at this particular point, we have to wait for Friday. But right now, intraweek, it's flipped from positive, the nine period moving average being positive green to pink. And that just says it hasn't widened. That to me is the biggest thing. How wide is the, the distance between that aperture, between the high, the slower moving average and the faster moving average. So just make it as simple as possible. A close under 31,500 on the weekly chart says, wow, now there's a tremendous amount of work to do in September. And remember, September can sometimes be very ugly. Uh, going into even October, which has historically been uh, just a, a major turnaround month from lows if there's a big smash to the downside. doesn't have to. We didn't have that uh, for the last couple of years. We haven't had that uh, in actually in September October just like back in October of 2000 and uh, 1987 or any of the other major October lows so within that context and not only that there's a little doji candle at the high in the weekly chart so I don't want to be too sanguine here we are for the uh, shorter term traders for my newsletter the opening call we've been short since the 22nd of uh, August we got that big, huge turnaround, that ugly thousand-point down day, and then we've been short there since. It's um, it's taken away from the, the long positions that we've got, but we are long from way down. Uh, that would be, uh, let's see, that was, I think, July, the, the last diamonds that we bought was July the 15th. July the 15th. Look, here it is. July the 15th, way down yonder in New Orleans. There it is. The, the, the day after the low, all right, we actually were long, but the, the, we got stopped out, went right back in the day after. We were, all, we were long the day of the low. So I don't want to get out of that position. At least this at this point, I don't think we're going back down to that low. Look, the stochastics at 7%. It's just trying an attempt to cross positive now. So this is exactly, look, there's a left side, right side price time match. But the, the, what I chose was this particular candle Candle, the candle of the tenth to go from the left side, it, with a, with a horizontal move that was a low of the 26th of July, 31,705. We've gone a tad below that to 31,647, trying to rally. I'm just thinking that this is where there should be at least an interim near-term bounce, and that bounce is okay. Now do you take off the uh, long positions because it's going to go much lower down. What do you do? Or do you say, I'm going to add to my short positions. I don't want to do anything yet. We just, very little 
trading at this particular point. We do have a, a new position we put on yesterday. We've actually got the add-on position that we wanted much lower down because we were buying a little bit of a gap up. I said, I don't like that, but I'm going to uh, ameliorate any uh, negativity by having a new add-on position much lower down. If we get it, it has to work, and it has to work really quickly because I don't want to be in two, even though it's just a total of one position, two positions, um, and have a sharp pullback and everything gets taken out. That will be one of our bigger losses, like it'll be about 10%. I don't like 10% at all. Uh, we have three, four, sometimes it's a five, but uh, it's rare that I, I, that I actually put us in a position like that. And yes, because I have tight stops, it means we've missed some really big moves to the upside. We've also got some really big moves to the upside. It, we make more than make up, much, much more than make up. So this is really important. By today, that level of 30... 1705 on the 26th of July. Um, I, I don't want that taken out today, or certainly not yesterday's low of 31,647. I'm not going to take too much time on all the others because it's the same story. The S&P, you don't want to take out the low of yesterday, but that one has started to see the stochastic at 7%, at least attempt with on balance volume to try to turn up. But that MAGD is still very weak, and the nine went. Uh, the day of the 1,000-point drop, it went negative, nine period under the 14. I don't want to get – when this is negative, I don't, you can see it right here in the 10-minute chart. Look, um, and I, I typed in uh, earlier on because I love this the bar symmetry. The bar symmetry is just – it's an incredible technique. It does take a little skill. But it also sometimes works perfectly with the left side number of bars equaling the right to get back to what it was. Let me just I'll expand this just to show you what I had here. 4,018 by 1020. So let's just see. That's what I typed in there. And that was when we were somewhere around here. And I drew in the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. And that said that by 1020... The, this high was 4,018.25 in the E-mini 10-minute chart. And I said by 10.20. But it went to 40.17.0. It missed it by $1.25 at 9.50. And then retested, just missing it again at 10 o'clock. And then it slumped. So, and now look what's happened. The 10 minute chart, there's an S. It was not completed, but you're going from green to pink if this continues for the 10 minute bar. And that says, oops, be careful because there could be another pullback. And then you've got to be careful because this low at 940 uh, a.m. Eastern time of 3986.25 will get tested. If that's taken out, watch out because that low, the day's low so far, of 3981.25. Point zero zero. Uh, uh, that at least that's the last law I'm talking about. Everybody. So it's very important with a nine p moving average crossing negative that by the end of the day, the cow starts to see a rally that takes it and fight is close above so the first green day. I'll be back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. 
Tom's Daily Market Newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, so how important are peak D's and E's? Well, we made a peak E little doji candle at 910-ish this morning on the E-mini one-minute chart. You did a retest at about 923. And look, the vertical line, this is the how strong the technicals were. Look how weak they were. And that retest, so it plummeted down to 39.85. And then where did it run to? It ran to a peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And then it turned down, down arrow, and it's pulled back sharply. And what is it doing? It's retesting the left side low. That's what we were talking about just a moment ago. So uh, the 10-minute chart, peak D at about uh, uh, midnight last night, retests with the technicals a little bit weaker. And then it drops sharply from the 40.18 level down to 39.79-ish, and then it runs peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, pulls back sharply, that's the open of the market, it suddenly pulls back, has a big spike to the upside, retests that 4.18 level, remember it got to 40.17, and then it pulls back, and now it's gone underneath that left side low, this is a really important moment, because you, look how you, how the market loves to go from a cup formation to an arch formation. Uh, right here, it was. I didn't draw it in because it was. It happened while I wasn't doing any trading or anything. But look, look, the big rectangle made essentially that large lopsided cup formation, uh, gravy ball formation, to that double top at about one o'clock uh, a.m. Eastern time, and then it arched over. So look at this. It just constantly. I mean, what? That's why I always called it uh, the waveform. I called it initially the seven wave, seven wave. This is the seven waveform, and then I learned you can go actually to to eight. To, you can go to seven higher peaks, never eight, because it's like a musical instrument. A B C D E F G. There's never an H. And look at this arch, cup, arch. And now it's trying to say, you know what, I don't have to go all the way back down. I'm going to try my best to hold you so I can make another cup. And that's just, it just it's like, it's just like the ocean flowing in and out, looking at the tide. Tide right now, the daily charts are all cell modes. The weekly charts got to a buy signal that could get negated at some time because look at the QQQ trading at 302.75. Uh, inside bar so far from the law of yesterday of 384.01. But look, it never held above the Chadwick inside track 
repellent zone to turn it into a propellant zone, and it's being it's being repelled from this level over and over since it tried to get there on the week of the fifth of August, and then it held at the line. It went above the line, went above the inside track, up a line, and then it did that again three weeks ago, and then it closed under it. Last week, it closed under that, and it closed under the 9 and 14 pre moving averages, and here we are. And it's just barely gone S. That's uh, negative. So I'm looking at this and thinking there could be, and this is going to be absolutely imperative chart-wise for me, another cup formation, but this formation says it doesn't go much lower before it tries to have a rally to at least attempt a move above the churn line, which would take it to about 318. Ha! Huh. You're at 303, 318. I don't know what's going to do it at this particular point, but you do have a couple of weeks and maybe buying at the beginning of the month. I was asked about Baba yesterday, or at least it was mentioned. Baba was uh, for call positions. First it was put positions, then it was call. Yeah, this is the Alibaba group holding Chinese Amazon. Um, it's trying to form this base, and it says that it, at 98.59, up 4.71. It's a good attempt. I still think this is a rectangle formation. I don't think it's going to 106 just yet. I think it's going to have to do another test of the 92 level. So in a short-term trade, yes, in the FX, I'll just do this. The other Chinese, is the, this is almost the same pattern as Baba, Alibaba. This is trading at 30.62, up $1.02, up 3.4% today. It's almost the same thing. I think it's in a stall under 31.50, and it's at 30.63. And then if it does that, it needs to hold... Uh, 29.50. If it closes under 29.50 at any point in the next week, whew, that is not good action. But it is more in a sideways trying to build some kind of support. Now let's go to. Uh, I want to go to gold. See, gold is already in leg D to the downside. The stochastics at 15%, but starting to weaken. The on balance volumes are very weak. The MACD is not very weak, but it's weakish. The, the nine is way below the 14. So this just tells me that gold is still in this trading uh, range. And have a look at the weekly chart with this huge move to a peak E uh, with a test of the peak D that was made. The, the letters move around a little bit because it's a continuous contract. And the price I give you is the price, the current price. The patterns, the lettering, everything's the same. The chart formations, everything that I've drawn. It's just that it gets smoothed out because it's a continuous contract. So the high was 2142.5 the week of the 7th of August 2020. We came all the way down to the 1700s, skyrocketed back to the uh, that single uh, weekly chart candle that had a high of 2107. Point nine is called a 2108 and a low of 1990. I mean, that's a big, that's a big move in one week, and then it closed down. And that was it, and then it came back down to retest this whole series of lows. The fact that it's making a little arch formation here says that there isn't real strength yet in in gold. And if gold in any time in September, especially if it's in the first uh, week and a half of September, closes under 1696, you've got no support. Until you get to the low that was made back in March of 2020. Uh, you remember March of 2020? We still long uh, the diamonds from uh, March of 2020. We've kept the core position. Uh, let's just go back to, uh, is it, let me just, yeah, it was a 210.99 of the diamonds on the 3rd of April. Um, so we're looking at uh, the Gold low of 1555.2. That'll that'll change within 10 or 12 points because it gets smoothed out. But that was the price. And that means if once you start to trade on a weekly basis, I'm not talking about intraday, but on a weekly basis, if you close below 1680, this becomes really vulnerable. But this is exactly where you start to try to find some support in gold. Look at silver. Silver, this is the weekly chart of silver. It's making lower lows. Lower lows and lower highs. What is that? The theme is then you're in a sell mode. And you, 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 it's just sell, right? At this particular point, this is a trough D, and I don't like it when the MACD rallies up with the price, and then the price turns around and makes a lower low. And the stochastic, you have to watch this closely because at 28 percent, it could even go a little bit lower here, and that'll drag the price down. So look at this. This is leg B to the downside of uh, silver at 17.99. How about high-grade copper? High-grade copper. How about high-grade copper? 
my great copper is trading at. It's down sharply from that peak E top. Now it's in a sell signal, probably a sell mode by the end of the day, 3.50. Oh, these are not good signs now because we've got this plus wood. You remember the iShares Global and Timber and Forestry ETF? I put them in the same category. This is with the stochastic running sharply with the single leg A up in the weekly. And the MACD is good, but the 9 is still way below the 14 in the weekly chart. And uh, the stochastic says, ooh. If Aisha's Global Timber and Forestry ETF would, WOD, is trading up 26 at 77, um, you've got to watch this closely because together with Copper, these are the national uh, aspects that we're looking for. All right, we're back. We're looking at two ball, three ball is down, was down very sharp, now it's down a dollar tip. We're we'll right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So crude oil, as I was saying, is down dollar twenty-six. But the fact that this, in fact, now I could do. I've been waiting to do this for ages. Look, there's a left side, right side. Let me just draw this in. Make this green right there. Green. Make this red. So parallel to the right side. And it says by September, the, six, the week of the 16th of September, if this low, and I have to go to the original low from the, uh, this is the flagpole pullback, the low of 83.20. Now, that could change because it gets smoothed out. It is September, so maybe all of a sudden next week. Maybe maybe it's already changed from uh, the Friday. I, I'm not sure when it changes, but it gets smoothed out. But whatever the low is on the week of 
March the 18th in the crude oil continuous contract. I've got it at 83.20. It should be within fractions of that. If by the 16th of September, it starts on a weekly basis to trade, uh, I would say under 83. I'm going to make it 82. I've got to give it a little leeway because it's been uh, testing it so often. But in the... Uh, under 82, or even touch 82, that would say to me, now I've got to change color, I've already changed color, right? Make it pink, yep, there it is. Right there, that's going to say to me that crude oil has made a very serious high in the monthly chart at a peak E, and that the 81.45, 200 period, uh, 14 period exponential moving average in the monthly chart is going to be absolutely imperative to monitor because if it starts to close under that, it means that for some, I, I don't know why at this particular point we should be looking at it in this way, but it would say that for some reason, the oil production has been increased, whatever it is, it's ameliorating the, 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 the exacerbation of the move up. And now it's starting to look at weakness and going into the winter season, that would be really unusual. But I'm try, not trying to mix up uh, fundamentals with technicals. I'm saying purely on a technical basis. The close, certainly a close in the, under 83 on any day is one thing. If it's a weekly close below 83, I have to consider that every single buyer from March the 18th of 2022 is in a losing position. And that means that you can start to see a whole new uh, range between maybe 86, uh, 86 to, to 90 in that range as the upper level for the whole of September. And then you'd be looking at lower lows. But it just doesn't make sense for September. That should be where the crude oil starts to see some strength just based on the buying that would be from the winter starting. Although in Europe they start winter and putting on heat is much later than us, I think. So, okay, that's crude oil. Let's go to natural gas. Natural gas trading down after that peak, even not down very much, holding quite nicely at 8.96. And uh, within that context, I had a question. I don't really want to get to it right now, so we'll get to that in a little while. But I will do RTH was the, the big question. Did you finish the count on the RTH? No, you remember I stopped at the 200 period moving average. I haven't looked at it for a little while. Van Eck retail ETF, 20% is Amazon. We'll look at Amazon in a moment. So that is not an E, obviously. Now I can say there's not an E. That was a sell signal at peak D. Then it went to a new buy mode, a buy signal to buy mode. And there's a brand new peak A, peak B. Remember uppercase on the way up, C. And you got your D. There's your D. So peak D in the uh, uh, daily chart of the RTH Venec Retail ETF. It's pulled back from the 180s, 183-ish, 182, 183 to 166 right now. Leg B, this is still not bad in the weekly chart. Mm, monthly chart needs a little bit of work, but the weekly chart is still holding pretty much okay. So 20% is Amazon. So let's look at Amazon right now. Remember I said uh, a couple of days ago, I said, if you're looking at Amazon, you really want to buy it. I, I would wait. I would wait. But if you want to just get a feel for it, just kind of nibble on it right now, but nothing more than just like getting your, your, just your toe in the water. And that was... I think it might even have been before the 1,000 points uh, uh, decline. So that was maybe in the 135 area. Yeah, we had 128, uh, seven points lower, a uh, couple of percentages. But I still say, wait for it. I haven't got a signal yet to say, this is where you want to start your real starter position. The only one was just like your pilot's I'd feel. And it's saying that it's 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 going with the market. It's down 32 cents, 182.41. The Dow's down 16, uh, and uh, Amazon is uh, not part of the Dow. Amgen is, and Apple is. Uh, so it's not, but it's 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 as important as anything else, uh, certainly. So I'm looking at this and saying I'm getting real close because it's I, it doesn't have to fill the whole gap, but I'm getting real close to saying start your engines on Amazon. 
but I need a little more proof that that's not too early. And remember, that would be a starter position, meaning that you will still add to it either a higher or lower, whatever it is, but it's where I feel comfortable saying that the percentage uh, risk that you're taking on seems to me way better than anything up until this very moment. That's really what I'm looking at. Haven't got there yet, still just a nibble uh, seven points higher. All right. The monthly chart is not bad. It's got the H pattern. It looks like it's starting out trying to make an arch, second arch for the lowercase H goes to a lowercase M. Uh, the weekly chart is really what we will, that's the middle chart right here. And the nine is still over the 14 period moving average. The tactical is already not too bad. That's Amazon. So RTH has 20% Amazon. I don't know if it still is. I wrote that a long time ago. XRT though does not have that. It is equal weighted. The S&P retail ETF. Now, why have I not updated that? Oh, I haven't updated it because I didn't get a chance to. So let's do that right now. So the XRT, and this to me is absolutely imperative for everything that we're looking at right now. Um, I have to focus on the retail sector because uh, there are some stocks in the retail sector that have just been clobbered is the only word that I can use. I mean, is that an English from the English or is it American? Clobbered, whatever it is. Clobbered is the word. And uh, there's some stocks that actually have held pretty well. So this is peak C, this is peak D, this is peak, uh, peak E just above the 200 period exponential moving average. Should we even have to care that there was a moving average uh, there? No, not when you were way down. Now you're getting closer and closer. And then what happens? It turns into a cell signal and a cell mode in the daily chart of the XRT. This is not as good uh, a monthly chart and certainly not a good weekly chart. Trough F goes to peak A and then a peak B and then it pulls back. And this is the, this is the real one, the equal weighted ETF, the XRT. And that's another reason why um, uh, listening to what's going on in the retail area has, has kept me a little bit cautious and kept us holding the Dow uh, the DOG, uh, the short position on the Dow. So as well as the long position, because the long position, the, the one long position from 2020, another one from 2023, uh, 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 yeah, um, so 2023, from 2022. So this is what we're looking at. Now, the big picture, what I am looking at is that together with Amazon, if you're looking at like stocks, I get asked about Macy's a lot. I don't see anything in Macy's. Peak D at the 200 period. How important is a 200 period moving average, especially at a peak D? Well, look at that. Around about the 15th of August, bam, it hits it in the 21s. It's in the 17s right now. I'd say that's pretty important. Now, I, I still say be cautious, be very selective. We're trying to be as selective as possible. Um, I'll be back. Dow's down 50. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50.
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, I've been watching this closely now years ago because this this particular um, this trade station platform has their, their thing has always been uh, technical indicators and being able to the draw draw these different patterns. So this is something I always I found years ago. I thought, isn't that fascinating? This is not a Bollinger Band or anything like that. Uh, but basically, what I like to do is I like to say, the question I have is, what on earth tells the stock to keep making? How does it make this quarter? In other words, how does it make this quarter of the semicircle? And what tells it to start making only slightly lower lows and lower highs? What what gives it the grading? In other words, how does it even know? The price is the price. It has no clue about a chart. It's only the price. It's the, it's, it's the it is the um, impact and price point of a particular moment in time. All right, that's all it is. So now what we're looking at: lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and then slightly lower lows. Slightly lower highs, slightly, and all of a sudden it gets to a point, and I, I, I do this because this is the, the quarter, the, the quarter of the semicircle, and then what I, years ago I said, you know what, what if I can take it from the top and do the same semicircle, so here it is, it's not even, it's not a Bollinger Band, it's nothing, it's just the, the arch formation on the decline, and it tells you, look, here's the V-shaped pattern right here. And this is what I did. This is what we were doing in my uh, all-day webinar. And, I, I mean, I'd love to do this again, but I don't know how many people are even interested in just an intraday trading uh, session. You know, Larry does it all the time. He does a fantastic job. Tom's had one. This is – these are – these. It's something very special, and all you're doing is you say you're implying now that people already understand a little bit of your technique. You want to refine the technique, but you want to show them how you do it in practice. And look what's happened. The unbalanced volume gave you that exact ictus uh, low. Well, it's one bar off. One bar off. The MACD's re, uh, recovered a little bit. The stochastic's gone from underneath 20% to over 20%. It's now at 66%. The nine is just about to cross over into the 14 to go positive. Don't ever think, I've done this, I don't know, thousands of times. Don't think that you can anticipate that this is going to be an L all the way through to the end of the bar of one minute. One minute has how many seconds left? It has, uh, I can't see it. Uh, one minute, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Is it about to change? Yes, there it is. There it is. So now I can say, good, I've got the L. Before, I've tried to trade it thinking I've got the low, and it didn't cross positive. And what did I do? I saw the L disappear, and it stayed pink. But now you've got a leg B to the upside. Isn't that a great technique? Look at that. I, I can't even explain it. I'm just using tools, and I'm using them over and over the same way. So you see this arch formation? It's an exact. It isn't a parallel arch. It's using the same uh stats that are within the makeup of this particular uh identification of a an arch formation 
And it says, great, now it's hit the 200 period moving average. First time it's done that and totally got reversed from tagging it once at 10.13 this morning. All right, so we, I, we'll follow this. And look what happened with the from that peak E top, where I said at 10.20, should hit 4,018.25, it went to 4,017.00 and turned around at a peak E and it plummeted down. And now you've got your left side, right side price time match. It's about three minutes early. Uh, from the 39.81 low, the low right here is 39.80. Oh, wait a minute, no, it can't be. Uh, it's 8.0, then this must have been wrong. Oh, this is 79. 79.25, I wrote that incorrectly. 79.25. 79.25. Seventy now, you know they talk about hammering out a base. And that's not doom, 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 not that kind of base. That is a base uh, of support. And you can see in this cup formation how it's trying to hammer out the base, but it keeps making A minuses. In other words, these A's don't pass muster. They make lower lows, so they keep failing. But this time you've got a peak A and a peak B. That means if this low of 39.7, 3980.00 and the e-mini doesn't get taken out. Let me just do this because people ask me all the time. Maybe I'll do that for the rest of the week. I'll put in something like a three times long. Uh, we'll do the SOXS and maybe that's the semiconductors or we could do the SQQQ. No, no, no. The, I want the UQQQ. Is there such a thing? Oh, it's TQQQ. Of course, we traded it. Had fantastic... Uh, Gains. So, you know, we could do whatever you want. Someone will just pop into the end and say, let's do this, and I'll just pick it out, and let's just see what happens here. Look, there's the low at, on the, uh, at uh, 1549 on the, 20, on the 30th. That was yesterday. So it goes like this. It goes, oh, I remember this one. It took us out of our long position uh, in the 25s. Uh, it took us out with a two-point gain on the final thing, but all the rest of the gains were incredible, big double-digit gains. Anyway, so that's the story there. So this goes A, B, and then it stalls. But under it, it has an A and a B. And then it goes C, D, E, F. Very quick, D, uh, C, D, E, F. Whenever that happens, be careful because you're about to have a reversal, and, a, and it could be a sharp reversal. It doesn't tell you it's going to go to sell signal to sell mode, just says be careful. Well, lo and behold, it comes all the way down. And what does it stop at? It stops at the 200 period moving average. So maybe we'll do that. You know, have a little fun. It's at 28. I mean, most people can trade something that's at 28. And now it's going to peak A, peak B. And uh, so, yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll make a note. Maybe, well, if send me an email, Basil Chapman at tfnn.com. And uh, we'll do something uh, just intraday like this. Uh, and see and show you how we can use all these different techniques. So now let's go back to us. So, so Macy's looks terrible. Um, Costco makes a peak E, almost a doji type candle at the most recent high. Peak E in the monthly major candle, peak E in the weekly, and now a peak E in the shorter term daily candle. And what does it do from the 560 area? It's at 522, still looking very weak, but the 200 period moving average of 506. Well, that's a lot of points from here. Um, that's going to be key, but on the very shorter term, I would say uh, you've got two things. One is you've got this left side low of the 26th of July of 519.508.76, uh, and then you've got 506.57 uh, on the 200 pre moving average. So I'm not going to do it now, but I, we'll, we'll work out something to, to see whether or not Costco and Walmart, these are the heavies, uh, Walmart trading at 132 made a rogue wave peak F top uh, on the around about the 15th, 16th of August in the 142 area. Now trading at 132, not a big deal, but holding the 50 period moving average. And it did make a peak D in the weekly chart. And that says, all right, now you can take a bit of a breather. And that's what it's doing. Not a sell signal or anything yet in the weekly chart. And a peak D monthly at 160.90 in that rectangle formation. Know the rule of thumb, a long rectangle formation that finally makes a D and then pulls back and takes that halfway of the rectangle support. It says, watch out. Not only will you go to the low, 
of the base of the rectangle, you probably take it out before bouncing back. That's exactly what it's done. Dow is now up 44 and the SP is up 12. Good. There's some things we need to discuss as soon as I return. There's your TQQQ. Trading in leg C to the upside. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So I just wanted to show you uh, within the techniques that I use all the time. This is a technique that we used uh, earlier on. Um, you've got NVIDIA trading down 3.8 uh, at 150. So... Um, I, they, we, we have a, a listener to TFNN who's just mentioned in video for months saying, watch what happens when it tanks. Well, it's already tanked. Yes, it's been split, but at this particular point, the high that was made just under 350, that was at 346.47 back in November of 2021. There's a sell mode in the monthly chart. So the question came up, what about those uh, island reversals from the top? Can you discuss them? Maybe tomorrow I'll discuss them more, but it's just a technique. You know, so I have NVIDIA potentially hitting. That's why I'm a little nervous with the you know, semiconductor still very weak. I can't get any real big strong buy signals in the market. Uh, the low that was made on the six, on 13th of July of 144.65, that should be hit at this rate by the 5th of September. That would be my left side, right side price time match for NVIDIA. So that's the same thing with uh, advanced micro devices. They, they're 
they're not in the sweet spot anymore. They are tanking in November of 2021. 164 for advanced micro devices drops down to the 70s. Bounces up to it's at 84 right now. Not these things are not acting well at all. So we'll talk about that. But most importantly, what I am going to say is that today is the day that there's been an incredible amount of selling. Just later in the day, if I, I would even put it between 10 minutes to three and 10 past three. If the Dow, which is now down 14, and of course the Dow has a lot of stocks that that uh, um, fund managers do put in their portfolios as core positions, I'm just going to suggest that if the, the Dow is able to get to a plus 75 by 10 minutes to 3, 10 past 3, and the VIX index, which is trading at 25.58, can actually drop under 25, that'll be a good close, but not if it's over 26.30 in the VIX.